coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, world's largest aircraft coming to Paris Air Show. Duffy wants innovators to lead ATC overhaul. Volt Aero unveils HPU 210 hybrid electric powertrain. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Talon Lee. Let's get into today's stories. World's largest aircraft coming to Paris Air Show. The Paris Air Show, running from June 16th through 22nd, will be waiting with excitement for the first appearance of what's being billed as the world's largest aircraft, the Windrunner, made by Radia, based in Boulder, Colorado. The aircraft, still under development, will measure 356 feet from nose to end, with a cargo bay capacity of 271,922 cubic feet. Compared to the Antonov AN-225, whose length was 276 feet and had a cargo bay capacity of 46,000 cubic feet, the Windrunner has 12 times the cargo volume of a Boeing 787. The aircraft was originally designed to carry large blades for wind turbines, but now the industry in general is looking at it as a potential transport for satellites and armored vehicles. The only limitation is that the cargo weight cannot exceed 160,000 pounds. Technical specs of the aircraft are sparse, including which engines will power the Windrunner. But it does appear that there will be four engines that can get the aircraft to 41,000 feet MSL for a distance of 1,240 miles at a cruise speed of 445 miles per hour. It's advertised as being able to take off and land on unpaved strips of 6,000 feet and requires no specialized ground infrastructure. After the break, major UAVionics software upgrade receives FAA green light. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Major UAVionics software upgrade receives FAA green light. The FAA recently gave its nod of approval to the latest software version of UAVionics's certified AV30C flight display. This upgrade aims to provide both feature and functionality improvements for VFR and IFR pilots. The AV30C is widely used in GA as a replacement for the traditional AI or DG in VFR or IFR operations. It combines multiple flight instruments into a baby digital display, fitting in a standard 3.125-inch instrument cutout. U.S. Army targets complete helicopter training makeover. Under its Flight School Next initiative, the U.S. Army is looking to completely revamp its helicopter training programs. This could include replacing its well-loved UH-72A Lakotas, bringing in new instruction methodologies, and introducing additional simulator training. The Army currently uses the twin-engine UH-72A Lakota as its primary training aircraft, a platform it's relied on since 2015. The Lakota has been praised for its performance and safety. Archer struts its staff with piloted flight. Archer tackled a photo opportunity with their midnight aircraft, giving it a chance to show off its piloted capability ahead of future flight tests. The midnight has been in the works for a while, and until now has most often been used in an uncrewed capacity. Archer has reached the crewed testing phase. In this phase, Archer test pilots will continue to test the key elements of midnight just like any other aircraft. How responsive are its flight controls, how stable across every flight regime, and how well sorted are its controls. Bell FLRAA gets designation as MV-75. Bell's new tilt rotor prototype has been officially given a name under the future long-range assault aircraft program, designating it the MV-75. Those in the game for a while may recall the aircraft used to be called the Bell V-280 Valor, but that was its old square commercial name replaced by a cooler military designation instead. 
The U.S. Army will potentially end up replacing its fleet of UH-60 Blackhawks with the MV-75 someday if things go as planned. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Duffy wants innovators to lead ATC overhaul. U.S. DOT Secretary Sean P. Duffy announced that the FAA is looking for an innovative company to play the role of integrator who will lead the build-out of a brand-new state-of-the-art ATC system. As a way to encourage industry partners to join in and discuss the plan, Duffy and the FAA are hosting Industry Days on June 10th through 12th. As part of the plan to attract a lead coordinator, the FAA has issued a request for information for an integrator to perform the key role in executing President Donald Trump and Duffy's vision for building the new ATC system. Secretary Duffy has said his top two priorities are hiring more air traffic controllers as soon as possible, along with building a new state-of-the-art system. To bring this vision for the ATC system to fruition, the FAA wants innovative new ideas, new technologies, and new procurement strategies. The multi-billion dollar project will involve replacing core infrastructure components such as radar, software, hardware, and telecommunications networks to manage the level of air traffic that has exponentially grown over the past 50 years, the average age for many components currently in the system. After these messages, Volt Aero unveils HPU 210 Hybrid Electric Powertrain. The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Volt Aero unveils HPU 210 Hybrid Electric Powertrain. Volt Aero announced the launch of its HPU 210 aircraft powertrain, making the patented hybrid electric propulsion available to propeller-driven aircraft in the home-built, kit-built, and very light aircraft categories. The company displayed its HPU 210 hybrid power unit for the first time at its exhibit at the France Air Expo in Lyon. The unit combines a high-performance thermal engine with an advanced electric motor to provide push-to-climb functionality with 40% more power, enabling more efficient, safer, and enhanced flight ops. Jean Boti, CEO and Chief Technology Officer for Volt Aero, said, quote, With the HPU-210, a new category of airplanes will benefit from the patented, proven hybrid propulsion tech pioneered by Volt Aero for our Casio family of regional aircraft, which are now advancing into their pre-production phase. We validated our hybrid propulsion architecture on our in-house Casio S flying testbed, which has logged more than 185 flight hours and flown approximately 25,000 kilometers in a full range of operating conditions." End quote. The HPU-210 is equipped with a Kawasaki H2SX thermal engine that provides a maximum power output of 150 kilowatts, along with a 60 kilowatt electric motor. The H2SX is derived from its use on Kawasaki's Ninja H2SX sport motorcycle and using its high-performance four-cylinder inline engine with fuel injection. It has an estimated TBO of 1,500 hours. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.